the Mad Hatter is back. Let us hope he doesn't cause too much trouble in The Mad Hatter Runs Afoul in issue 23 of Mr. McCoy's Weekly Log for the week ending January 27, 2017. Here are the academic details. In math, students went on a fraction capture. It was all a part of using common denominators and equivalent fractions, as well as subtraction, and renaming all kinds of great things to hone their math skills. We also reviewed division of decimals by decimals, as well as other key math concepts this week. In reading, we set sail on the mighty Titanic with the goal being to read and comprehend nonfiction texts as well as to determine the theme and summarize the text. We also worked to infer the meaning of unfamiliar words as we dove into several articles, one of which comes from Kids Discover Magazine, to examine all of the facts around the Titanic sinking. Each student role-played one of the passengers, and on Friday we'll find out whether or not he or she survived. In writing, we discussed that when you are researching something, you need to not just move facts from someone else's book to your page or someone else's source to your page. You also need to think, to come up with your own ideas, ask questions, make inferences, all of these skills we work on in reading. We also included things like, I think it is this way because, or I wonder if perhaps, And we discovered that you have to keep in mind not only of the qualities of great writing, as well as the qualities of great history. There is a link in this week's edition to Westward Expansion Maps. There's more about that here in just a moment. Uh, In social studies, we sought to identify how the automobile changed American culture in the early 1900s as student teams worked to design and use their own assembly lines. We started that last week. We then time tunneled backward to the pre-Civil War era of American history and worked to describe the differences between the economies of the North and the South. And we also identified the role that slavery played in the South in the mid-1800s. We also worked to explain how and why views about slavery differed in both North and South and analyzed the song Ebony and Ivory by Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder and delved into a story, Sarah's Secret, about how a cornhusk doll is used in a family's plan to escape from their their life of slavery and head north. In science, how do plants reproduce? We learned all about plant reproduction and each student participated in a flower study which involved dissecting a flowering plant. This was a great connection to what we're doing in Science Club, growing corn kernels with different colors of cellophane to see which colored light grows the tallest corn plant. Anyway, the Mad Hatter is on the rampage. You never know where he's going to pop up. Keep watching as this week's edition continues. What's this? The Mad Hatter's hat, one of them, out here on the trail. I'd better get through this in a hurry, Uh, so be sure you check out the article entitled Motivating Your Fifth Grader. Uh, This time of year can sometimes be hard for students to focus. Discovery Middle School has darkened our doorstep and is talking to students about what to expect next year. However, our goal is to make sure that these students stay tethered in the here and now, that is, fifth grade, which will continue in full force right up to and including the last day of school. The motivational techniques that uh, this article suggests says fifth graders love technology and uh, how it helps learning and uh, there are ways that you can motivate your child at home such as play trivia games, type out and print trivia questions on topics of interest to your child. For example, pre-Civil War questions, since that's what we're moving into soon. And uh, you can also download educational programs. You'll find an amazing array of different programs on the internet, needless to say. 
And then it also says, let your kids research your next vacation and perhaps plan out the itinerary for that trip. So be sure to check out that article. Has your child ever had trouble staying focused, say on homework or other tasks? Chances are you just said yes. There is an article in this week's edition entitled Keeping Your Child Focused with great suggestions such as get the yayas out first, moving your body motivates your brain, try having your child walk or bike to school, play outside after school, do chores around the house, anything to get him or her up and moving and away from a screen. And then it says turn off screens and cell phones, enough said, make a to-do list, Most children, whether you realize it or not, are task-oriented, just like most adults are task-oriented in some form or another. Uh, It helps if your child has a list of things to accomplish and a time limit to get it all accomplished. Use signals. uh, To avoid conversations when your child is working, look for nonverbal ways to signal, like that you need something or that your child needs something. And then five minutes to get a snack or something, and then get back right to work. So, be sure to check out that article. There's also a link in this week's edition called Westward Expansion Through Maps. This is a great resource as your child continues to write his or her research report covering the eras of the Revolutionary War up to pre-Civil War. So please have your child check out that link. It could help with his or her research at home. Our Read Aloud has continued to be riding the flume. If you would love to see what it is that your child is listening to and watching in class each day, the links can be found in this week's edition. Our Valentine party is coming on Tuesday, February 14. It will run approximately from 210 to 240. We would love to see you there, so please come to the Valentine party. You can find out what your child is doing all day long in Gotham City. Just check out our Twitter site. Uh, The link can be found in each week's edition of Mr. McCoy's Weekly Log. You can also go to my school loop site where there is a feed and you can see all of the latest events taking place in Gotham City. Next week, the Joker and the Penguin team up in issue 24 entitled The Zodiac Crimes. It will be distributed to you for the week ending February 3rd, 2017. Truly monumental things taking place next week.